गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम अनमीत सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट एंड कॉमर्स देश भगत यूनिवर्सिटी टूडे आई एम हेयर टू गिव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड प्रिंसिपल्स सो अंडर दिस वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज मेटीरियलिटी सो बेसिकली मेटीरियलिटी मीन्स ओनली मेटीरियल ट्रांजेक्शन शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स or we can say that immaterial amounts may be aggregated with the amount of a similar nature or a function and need not to be presented separately so here you are required to prepare while recording the various business transactions in the books of accounts only material transactions should be recorded as well as materiality depends upon the size as well as nature of the item so here you are required to identify what is the exact size or what is the exact nature of the item which you want to record in your books of accounts for example small payments such as postage charges stationery charges cleaning expenses should not be disclosed separately they should be grouped together as sundry expenditure so sundry expenditure here means the expenditure which includes postage expenditure stationery expenditure cleaning expenditure they are they should not be recorded separately but they are included under the head of the sundry expenses as well as we can say that the cost of small valued assets such as pencil sharpeners and pencil clips should be written off to the profit and loss account as revenue expenditure although they can last for more than one accounting period so these are the some examples which falls under the category of the materiality concept of accounting now the next accounting concept is objectivity so here objectivity means the accounting information which you want to record in the books of accounts that should be free from bias as well as it is capable of independent verification as well as we can say that the information should be based on verifiable evidences such as invoices or contracts all the information which you want to record in the books of account that information should be based on the some verifiable evidences for example verifiable evidences include invoices as well as contracts now let's talk about one example the recognition of revenue should be based on verifiable evidences such as delivery of goods or the issue of invoices so when the organization deliver the goods to a particular customer or from the issued invoices we can judge the exact amount from the books of accounts in order to recording the various business transactions next concept is consistency so basically consistency means company should choose the most stable accounting method and treatment and consistently apply in every period changes are permitted only when the new method is considered better and can reflect the true and fair view of financial position of company so consistency means the organization should adopt one method for example for calculating depreciation basically there are two methods one method is straight line method and another method is written down value method so there are two methods to calculate the amount of depreciation one is straight line method and another is written down value method so the organization should follow one method in order to create the concept of consistency so now take an example straight line method means we can calculate depreciation or the amount of depreciation is fixed whatever the amount of depreciation that is fixed in every year written down value method means the amount of depreciation may vary from year to year so overall an organization should follow one method or one concept in order to justify the consistency concept like for example if any organization followed in 2015 the concept 
of state line method or used state line method to calculate the amount of depreciation for example in 2005 15 we are uh, fall we followed the concept of state line method in order to calculate the amount of depreciation in 2016 also we should follow this concept in 2017 we should also follow this concept so it create the concept of consistency when we want to compare the amounts like yearly amounts with each other then we justify the concept of consistency for example same example is there if a company adopt state line method and should not be changed to adopt reducing balance method in other period then consistency concept is developed or if a company adopt weight average method or weighted average method we can say that as stock valuation and should not be changed to other method for example first in first out so there are various method in order to calculate the inventory calculation the one the name of the one method is the fifo then second method is lifo then there is some average or abc analysis method so company should follow one method in order to justify the concept of the consistency now the next concept is accrual or matching concept so accrual or matching concept means the all revenue are recognized when they are earned when the actual revenue is earned only then particular revenue should be identify or to be recorded in the books of account but not when cash is received so here we ignore the concept of cash we just only recognize the revenue when they are earned as well as expenses are recognized they are incurred but not when cash is paid that concept is called as accrual concept as well as in accounting basically there are two concepts are there one is cash concept there are two concepts for recording various business transactions the name of one concept is cash based concept or cash based recording second is accrual or outstanding based recording so cash based recording means when actually cash is received or when actually cash is paid only then we should record the various business transactions in the books of accounts so under this when actually cash is received when actually cash is received or either cash is paid only then we are required to record transactions in the books of accounts but under accrual based concept the amount or we can say that the revenue are recognized when they are earned only then when they are earned not when cash is received same as a in case of expenditures when actual expenditure are incurred but no need when cash is paid so we can record the transactions on the basis of accrual concept as well as in most of the uh, in accounting we should follow the concept of the accrual based concept of accounting now the next is the net income for the period is uh, determined by subtracting expenditure incurred from revenue earned so we can subtract the various expenditure from the earned revenue in order to know the exactness or in order to know the net profit now taken an example expenditure incurred but not yet paid in current period should be treated as accrual or accrued expenses under the current liabilities or we can say that these expenditure are also called as outstanding expenditures so outstanding expenditure means the expenditure incurred 
but we can't pay the amount of that particular expenditure as well as expenditure incurred in the following period but paid for advance should be treated as prepayment expenses under current assets next is depreciation should be charged as a part of the cost of fixed asset consumed during the period of the use so these are the some examples which which are based on the basis of the accrual based accounting so accrual based accounting means we are required to record the various transactions when they are incurred or ignore the cash basis concept while recording the various transaction in the accounting next is problems in the recognition of expenditure so normally expenses represent resource consumed during the current period some cost may benefit several accounting periods for example developmental expenditures depreciation on fixed assets so these are the some categories which falls under the head of the accrual based accounting or which are the example of the accrual based accounting to recording the various accounting uh, transactions now the next main topic is recognition criteria for expenses so first is association between cause and effect so there must be an association in order to identify the cause as well as effect expenses are recognized on the basis of a direct association between the expenses incurred on the basis of a direct association between the expenses incurred and the revenue earned for example the sales commission should be accounted for in the period when the product are actually sold not when they are paid so these are the some examples in order to recognize the criteria for the basis of the expenses recording or expenses recognition next is systematic allocation of cost when the cost benefits several accounting periods they should be recognized on the basis of a systematical and rational allocation method for example a provision for depreciation that should be made over the estimated useful life of a particular fixed asset immediate recognition means if the expenses are expected to have no certain benefit or are even without future benefits they should be written off in the current accounting period for example while recording the stock losses advertisement expenses as well as the research cost so these are the some examples under the head of the immediate recognition next concept is realization so realization means revenue should be recognized when the major economic activity have been completed so here realization concept follow the concept of the cash based accounting so cash based accounting means only revenue should be recognized when the major economic activity have been completed so whenever the major economic activity economic activity means the those activities which involve the amount of money when they are occurs or they have been completed only then recording should be made in the books of accounts next sales are recognized when the goods are sold and delivered to customer or service are rendered so recognition of revenue means the realization concept develop rules for recognition of revenue the concept provide that revenue are recognized when it is actually earned so earning based concept is followed for recording the various business transactions as well as note when the money is actually received so it also follow the concept of the accrual based accounting so the uncertain profit should not be estimated where as reported profit must be verifiable so there are some major findings under this concept the first point is the major earning process has sustainably has been completed further cost for the completion of earning process should be verify with the in order to accurate the ascertain or in order to calculate the proper cost the buyer has admitted his liability to pay 
for the goods or service provided and ultimate collection is relatively certain for example goods sent to our customer on sale or return basis second is this means that customer do not pay for the goods until they confirm to buy if they do not buy these goods will return to us so these are the some examples under the head of the realization concept now let's talk about the problems in the recognition of revenue so the first main problem is revenue is recognized when there is sale so there must be a sale only when sale occur only then the concept of revenue is to be followed by the various organization in order to record the various transactions the point of sale in the earning process is selected as most appropriate time to recorded revenue however if revenue is earned in a long and continuous process it is difficult to determine the portion of revenue which is earned at each stage therefore revenue is permitted to be recorded other than at the point of sale so here we should consider the point of sale in order to record the revenue now let's talk about the some exceptions to the rule of sales recognition so the first point is long term contract so owing to long duration of long term contract or part of the total profit estimated to have been arise arisen from the accounting <coughs> period should be included at the point of calculation of the profit and loss account or some higher purchase sales higher purchase sale have long collection period like as a revenue should be recognized when cash received rather than when the sale is made so here the interest charge on a higher purchase sale is a constitute the profit of the transactions now the next accounting concept is disclosure so disclosure means in financial statement that should be prepared to reflect a true and fair view of financial position and perform of the all enterprise so here you are required to disclose all material information or we can say that all material information should be disclosed by every organization in the profit and loss count in trading count as well as in balance sheet or overall we can say that while preparing financial statement all material and relevant information must be disclosed in the financial statements next accounting concept is uniformity so uniformity means different company within the same industry should adopt the same accounting method for example there are two firms or two companies one is x company next is y company and next is z company so they must follow one common method for example in order to calculate the depreciation they should follow the one concept that is return on value method or either they should follow the concept of the straight line method so the practice enable inter company comparison of their financial position so this is this make the possibility to compare the financial position of the different companies with the help of the uniformity concept next accounting concept is relevance so financial statement should be prepared to meet the objective of the user only relevant information which satisfy the needs or which satisfy the need of the customer is selected to record the various transactions thank you this is all about the concept